Hey guys, so I'm going to show you how to insert a mesh and make one and set it all up into where it's open to the public. Okay, so first you're going to want to get a mesh brick, a custom mesh brick, and you can go that by right clicking insert object and it's called mesh part. So now that you have the mesh part, you are going to want to enter something. Here you want to get something for the mesh ID. And you see this? And so here you're going to have to bring something from your files. And uh, to and it will turn into the brick if it's if it has the uh, like a like the right amount of um, polygons, triangles to do this. Um, and I think the limit's 5,000. If you do not have an object in your file, then you're going to want to go to Google. And you're going to want to find an FBX file. And it's it's a 3D file that you can you will have to download. So you could search I don't know sword .fbx file. And there are a whole bunch of websites that host a whole bunch of these objects. And a lot of them you have to sign up for. Some of them you don't, but most of them you do have to sign up for and a lot of them have prices and you don't have to buy them because there's a whole bunch of free ones as well so um, free. wow this website's slow okay so maybe this wouldn't be the best type of website if we can find oh okay that's not related to what I searched but Okay, so now that we found, uh, now, okay, so you could use this, although it probably has too many, uh, polygons. We can use this, and you have to make sure if, net, if it has an FBX, so I'm going to tell you here, if it's, like, just a dot .object file, you can't use that. You need an FBX file to, um, insert the mesh. So, you can go here. And for a lot of websites, you'll have to create a free account, but it doesn't really cost against you. And all you have to do is insert, enter your email, and you're good to go. Um, this, I might have to make an account for this website. And my computer is still going very slow. Okay, so... I think it probably is going to try to make me um, get an account, but the type of files you want are usually just .fbx files. There's some called .fbx.zip, and you're going to need a um, zip extractor to get those fbx files out, which is kind of a pain sometimes, but I think this one might work. So once you get the file... Oh, no, it's a zip. But I have some other meshes already in my, um, already in my downloads, so I'll show you. So you'll click on Mesh ID, and you can go to Downloads, and, uh, let's use this katana. So you'll open it up, hit a load, and... It will morph into the object that you chose from your files. Unless it hates me, and then it's gonna do this. <laughs> no, it worked. Okay. And so now we got a katana. And it's pretty fancy. Although I don't have a texture for it, which kind of stinks, but oh well. Um, you can resize it <laughs> with the with the uh, mesh that you get. To the size you want. Oh. 
I think I broke it for a while. I don't know what that is. It used to be a katana, but uh, you can really f make it make meshes with any file that you find online that kind of tore it up. So I think certain meshes only have a certain amount that you can stretch it before they really mess up. But uh, anyways, it takes a little bit of research to find the meshes that you want. Like if I want a certain type of sword, it would take me a while. But if you're just being um, pretty broad and you just want to find a mesh to make it for fun, then it's pretty easy to make and just will take not too long. And I'll show you one more time. So I'll make a sword, another sword. Mm. See, that's what happens when you have too many triangles and polygons in it. It isn't able to uh, load, which is a pain. And sometimes whenever you load them, they're gigantic, like this one. And you can downsize it, just be careful not to mess the mesh up. And, uh, yeah, just be careful. It's huge, alright. This is how big it is. <laughs> it's like an entire base plate. But anyways, um, just whatever you guys find, you can turn it into a mesh if it has uh, a low amount of polygons. And uh, so just have fun with it, and you can produce more meshes in the um, library for other users to use, because it's useful when you find a mesh that, sh that you would want to use. Anyways, thanks for watching, and hope you uh, have a good time making meshes. And